happens on the real screen? <laughs> oh, it was away for a second. Oh no, I was just... never mind. You'll never know what goes on behind the scenes. You've got to be kidding me! Hey. What? I like Luigi. No, it's not Everyone even... likes Luigi. Yeah, but... Except Nintendo. It's not even... It's not even that. But it's... <sighs> the reason why he's stuck up there is the problem. Just... <sighs> you know what? You know what makes this even worse? After this, he says he's tired. And he doesn't collect any more power stars for you. Well, he, if, if, he's, if he's bending time and space and getting trapped inside... He, he's traveling through the fourth dimension. That's the only way you can get trapped inside a three dimensional closed object if you're traveling through the fourth dimension. So that's probably going to take a lot of energy out of him. He's like, oh, I'm done being the coolest person in the universe. I'm going to go back to being Mario's brother. He's, he's undercover, obviously. He's like Jughead lost in J Jughead Time Police from the Ar Archie Comics, where Jughead time travels and kills Hitler in year 2050 or something. I, I don't know. That that he, Luigi's doing that, basically. Uh, you know, you know Archie yeah. had the Punisher as as like a chaperone. You, I don't even. You've never you've, know. you've never seen I've never Jughead heard, Time Police. I've never heard of that. Where where. Ever. He, Arch. Don't tell me! I want to look no, for this there, now! There is, is, is a bunch of different issues. It's just the basic thing. Jughead. Like Ar Ar Archie, Archie's descendant is his like assistant and they just do time travel stuff. Yeah. And Jughead's hat is what makes him time travel. You've never seen this. Oh Archie's awesome, man. And it's remember that Archie time, again. Remember, remember that time where he died? Yeah, but that that uh, was for that was for its specific series. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah this it, is the reason why Luigi should have made it clear, man. Yeah, a bug that is scared of you once you get close to it, anyways. And he's still not even aware that it's gone. Yeah, but you see, that's like Zelda. She is a completely invincible thingy. Princess. No character. No, in Spirit Jacks. Oh, Spirit. No, not that. Ghost. Not that. Um, Phantom. Yeah, yeah, she's a completely invincible Phantom. With a sword twice the size of Link. And she gets scared by mice. She gets scared by mice in other games, but that's the most ridiculous. But I guess it's a No, 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 no. Here's the here's thing. I think, Actually, she no. gets, I think she gets over it near, near, close to the final boss, but uh, Cole starts using super ghost mice or stuff to possess her. I don't know. Oh, okay. I remember the funny thing was that in Link's in Link to the Past, they're running through a sewer. Zelda's just some sheltered girl the entire game. She doesn't give a crap about the mice. And then here we have this escapee Zelda from Fun Spirit Tracks. Always escapes, runs off with Link. She's invincible and she's terrified of mice. I like that. It's not on purpose. I doubt it, but it's funny. Time to go to the most what the hell happened to the, the ecosystem what? galaxy ever. What is that? Freeze Flame Galaxy. Okay. Oh, so they do this again in Galaxy 2 but with a different name? Yeah, Shiver Burn. Okay. Freeze Flame sounds better. The frozen peak of Baron Burr. So where's the, where's the, where's the flame? The, the flame's over there. We're going to the freeze. D didn't I, didn't you make me play a level in this? I, yeah, I made you play the third level where hot and cold collide. This is dumb. What? Stop! <laughs> what? What's dumb? What is dumb? What is ice levels? Oh, people hate ice levels more than water levels, but I hate water levels more than ice levels. Maybe because ice levels are rarer. Maybe because they come later in the game stage. So but they always expect have, them to be ice hard. and water levels usually have the best music. Oh, I wouldn't. You would know because you, you yeah, for some really reason, you have a to. stigma against. No, video I just game. don't really listen to it that much. Oh, except really? yeah, I don't. It's not. There's, there's tons I listen to. I like Portal 2's music is incredible. I love the music in Unova has the best music in all the Pokemon games. I don't care about battle music, but like Overworld and stuff, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because I'm the complete opposite to you on that. Tropical Freeze's music is just. 
Oh gosh, you're David Weiss. Thank you, thank you, but David dude, Weiss. Grant, but dude, you haven't listened to the original Ga Duncan Country thing by Grant Grant Kirk Hope. They're amazing. Well, yeah, well, yeah. When when I play games on my computer, I don't usually have the volume up. Well, you've been missing a lot, a lot, and you have no idea how amazing video game music has gotten. Just well, I do. In general. I, I, I well, listen to a lot of music. Well, just why are you s depriving yourself? Yeah, I just d don't feel any motivation to continue. Meanwhile, on Apathy Magazine, the poster boy. Seriously, man. Yeah, but if it's Apathy Magazine, then none of us care. That reminds me of what was it, the Met Magazine, where it's, <laughs> it's just, the cover is just a guy pouring coffee and is missing the cuff. <laughs> But, you know, for some reason, I was always more terrified of getting killed in freezing cold water rather than in lava in Mario games. Well, in lava here it doesn't... well, okay. Both of them are still not as deadly as they usually would be. But... Yes! Behold! Ice Mario! Cool! Oh gosh, I didn't actually need to say that! Cool! Well... Yeah, so just water, walk on the water. Oh, water's that's spout. actually interesting. You turn that into a platform. Yeah, that's a good man. The people who make Mario games are good at puzzle making. Oh my gosh! You know what they should do? What? They, they, they should, the, the, the creators, the the the, 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 the um, people at Nintendo should switch games. Just like if it, when, when they have the time, of course. The Mario guys just make a little Zelda game, and the Zelda people make a Mario game. I would love to see that. If, if we could probably switch up more, make probably make retro make a Zelda game. Yeah, but at that point, with trial and error, would they really risk it? No, they wouldn't. Exactly. But maybe a small game then. Maybe like a handheld game. I'd love to see as the Mario guys make some Zelda puzzles. I'd love it. I guess. As, as long as they don't outsource. Oh, hi, Yoshi's New Island. With yeah, that was, yeah, that was a terrible idea. The, 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 I guess outsourcing has never really been bad for them before. Minish Cap is my favorite handheld Zelda game, and it was probably it was published by Capcom, and they did stuff, and Namco did Harry uh, Ward. No, not Namco. What? Team thingy thing. Team Ninja? Yeah, Team Whoever did Hyrule Warriors and it sold a million copies and it's all around successful, so that's good. Man, so Hyrule I Warriors was just like the weirdest but most awesome idea ever. Yeah. So they're thinking, yeah, we've got another one with Damn Yoshi's it. New Island. And I guess the, 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 the second Yoshi's Island game, they gave it to somebody else to do it. And they did fine. They so did they're fine. like, yeah, let's. The final boss was still stupid. Oh, well, I, I never. You can't beat Raphael the Raven ever. <laughs> That's not the point. final boss. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. God damn it, man. I know you've had trauma thanks to Raphael. No, but, I just love oh, you Raphael. Just love That's just such. That was Mario Galaxy, like, 15 years earlier, man. It was just incredible. I just love that boss. Well, but, so there's I, another boss, Baron Burr. But yeah. They, they, so they, they're probably thinking, yeah, at worst case scenario, we'll get Yoshi's Island DS. A perfectly fine game that people just force themselves to hate for some reason. Yeah, it was, the hate was kind of... Yeah. yeah. It, it, I, I really, it still wasn't good as the original. Yeah, but, but I really you know, don't like seeing... lot of good I don't like seeing Yoshi's Island DS be compared to New Island at all. They're completely different in terms of quality, but they just say all the sequels wane. Kick. Oh wait, I guess I have to spin We're him playing football. Again. No, I, That's said, I guess I have to spin into him again. So he's basically a bigger version of the smaller um, with things. Oh, I just saw the thingy thing come out of Mario's hat. Yeah, that was just that. Every single time. Anyways, so yeah, they, they, they're probably not expecting Yoshi's New Land to be so bad. And they're definitely not expecting the music to be so hilarious. So I, I, I love the music in Yoshi's New Island because it's so bad. I cannot listen to it. <laughs> I've never heard video game music I literally cannot listen to because I hate it so much. Which makes me love it so much. They basically just tried to put the whole oh childish mo childish crayons cartoon imagination motif and they made it for actual babies without tune. No, the thing, the, what they did, they took Mario's cry. 
from the original Yoshizana game and just made that the music. <laughs> so you're constantly reminded of, yep, this is Yoshi's Island. The absolute worst part of the music of Yoshi's Island. 24-7. Well, more like 24-1 because you're going to just play this game for one day and stop. <laughs> it's not 24-7. I have seven days a week. You know? Oh, no, no, no. At least. Oh, I'm probably going imagine to like it. Imagine Honestly, I, I'm probably going to like the game when I play it because I, I love Yoshi's Island so much. I'm probably loses, just going to enjoy it, it. From what I see from a design standpoint, it loses it loses a lot of its charm. Yeah, from the design. From what I hear, it's just I, when you ignore the music and the fact that Yoshi's Island is being stabbed repeatedly, it's pretty much just average. From yeah. what I hear, the people who can get, not get angry can just say hey, it's an average game. Like I can say it's got a like. Five, a six, or something on Metacritic. It's not bad, except for the music. It's just, eh. You could, could be mowing my lawn right now. Yeah, just, just like, just a game like, yeah, I could be doing something but, else. But, but, but the fact that Yoshi's Island is the greatest market platformer of all time, getting reduced to, eh, it's good. That's that's a that's a crime. I guess other people. Oh dear. I know other people like other Mario platformers more, but I know Yoshi's Island's my favorite. But I haven't played. If I play Donkey Kong Country, that's probably going to be Yoshi's Island, likely. But for now, Yoshi's to, Island's my you favorite. Need to go play some of those, man. To me, I Donkey Kong Donkey Kong Country Two is my favorite, but three, I like. Okay, it's because of nostalgia. Like it was one of my first. The first GBA games I actually owned. Yeah, continue. One of the first GBA games I actually owned, and I I just enjoyed all of it. Enjoyed all of it. So yeah, yeah. Mister in Core time. Oh, I played the. No, you didn't. Oh, 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 oh. This is the sec this is the second mission. Oh, so you always dumped me into the hardest missions. <laughs> you did well enough, so yeah, actually, yeah. I was actually proud of you for that. Yeah, I played for I, I like Mario games. Like if it was a game like say I don't know, probably I'm just good at video games. I need to play video games more. <sighs> I know I'm good at video games, but the, certain things like stop me from being as effective. I'm not gonna go into that right now. I know that there's some games that I, I, I jumped into Mario Galaxy and played fine. There's some games that I'm not so lucky with. Mario Kart 7. It took me a while to get the hang of it. Remember Double Dash? Yeah, Double Dash. Double Dash controls weird, and I don't know why people like it. It's fine, but it's it. not the best. I, it controls I certainly so love it. weird. It's so weird. I, I don't know, man. Drifting was just. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Stop, stop with the stroke words. The words. Yeah, drifting was weird, and I realized the that caramel I, center. Oh crap! This isn't a caramel. This is lava. All right. I realized that I hate most of the double dash stages. Really? Yeah. They were really enjoyable when, when for I, me. When I play, when I play DS and Seven. And I'm thinking of the stages I hate. I realize that the ones I usually hate are the ones that are from Double Dash. Like, well, Daisy Cruiser is fine, I guess. But dude, what about the Donkey Kong one? And Rainbow Road Double Dash? Donkey Kong? Well, all the, all the Rainbow Roads are good, so that's not really anything. Dude, the, the levels in Double Dash are cool. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I'll, I'll have to look. Maybe, maybe, you, maybe your enjoyment of it was like ruined because you, of how you approach the control. Maybe no, I don't know. I still had fun playing it. I'm gonna have to look, relook at them and make sure because it's not like they, they're they're not. I don't. I guess I said I hate them, but they're not all terrible. I do like a lot of them, and I don't really hate it to the point where I never play it. So, mm. and I know. It, Probably, uh, I know that Let's every see. every Mario Kart stage. No, no. Okay. Every Mario Kart game has that one stage that is just awful in every way. 
Mm. And I, I, wouldn't I, be able I, can't, to, I wouldn't be able to like name. I can't. I couldn't tell you the one for double dash because I, I seem to. Probably I'm just not remembering. Yeah. Yeah. I do know that Maple Tree Way is definitely the worst stage in Wii, but I don't know because I haven't played much of Wii. But I hate that stage. Let's see. I hate that. What viewers? I hate that stage. <laughs> what game is? Smug Sneasel. <laughs> I hate that. Stage. Yes, you're learning. <laughs> what? What game that I I played that I would just never pick up again because of how terrible it was? Mega Man Battle Network 4. All right. Terrible what was? <sighs> Everything in that game was wrong. The pa the pacing, the, the most of the missions were just retreads of the same place of you doing slightly different stuff. Yeah. I, Always I with random encounters with viruses that had that ha half of. Half of the viruses either had like invincibility, but okay, that was just what the, some, something what went wrong going here. On? Something went wrong here. But yeah, the virus half the viruses had like an invincibility stage, or they kept invading your side of the field, and chips had to be get yeah in order to get the chips you had to get like a level ten or over. They just give you money. It was stupid. I'm trying to remember something, but I can't remember what. It happens to me a lot. And I've already forgotten. I can falling down due to your lack of proper no, room I'm structure. No, I'm trying. I don't play video games. I hate. So I can't think of a video game I played so much of and would never pick up again. I I only finished finished that f f because of the whole. F I chose to finish every game as much as I could. Um, in terms of the Battle Network series from a for the Facebook page. Uh, but man. But man. Okay, that is not him, Robot Master. That that would be a funny one. Anyways, like I played. Dude, they made no. If you oh, want yeah. to laugh at anyone, laugh at Sheep Man. Even though it's I probably, awesome. I probably wouldn't replay Emerald. Oh, okay then. Bringing. No, I would. Pleb. I probably no, I wouldn't. I don't know. I, I that's that's a tough one. I'm not sure. I'm well, I know I replayed Emerald like three times because it was because it was my I put one game I always wanted. It's I like and it was it. like my first GBA I, game. I, I like it, but I don't know about, about GBA SP. Thing. Hmm. I wouldn't replay Black. Yes. Okay. I definitely wouldn't. Did, wait, didn't you already say that you replayed Black? No, I've only played it once. The thing, it's a great what? game. You sure? Yeah, I'm certain. I definitely went because I, I, I was thinking of no, because I, 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 I got a Pokemon randomizer for the emulator and everything. It's like, yeah, let's to play some Black. It's gonna be fun. It was so silly and wacky and great. And then I got to Accumulator, the second turn in the game. And then I remember the guest this rant. And I said, oh my gosh, the next two hours are going to be the most tedious hours of my life. And I just deleted it. Yeah, I, I, this is a randomizer, it's supposed to be fun and crazy and silly. And I just said, no. The tedium of the, f the first half I of the never, game just completely took me out of it. Maybe because I played um, from an emulator, but I never remember the tedium of Black. I, um,. Uh, no, maybe it's because like it was just a slightly recent game that I got my hands on, so I was happy either way. No, oh, yeah, um, that's the thing. Uh, I, I first game. Well, no, I, I already played Platinum and Soul Silver. But when I got Black, I was thinking I'm finally entering Gen Five, and it still took me out of the game. Not enough to make me hate it, but I was definitely thinking this is just annoying, and I don't know why people love it so much. Well, back to his third superior, but yeah, no, but everyone's like, Oh, black, the, the story in black and black 2 is so amazing, and I just think it's so tedious and annoying. I, I like the story by a concept standpoint, yeah, but I maybe going, I, I, I know I enjoyed my time there. What I didn't enjoy is, is that we don't have time no, to talk oh, about it. We totally it. have time. What I didn't enjoy is the fact that my game crashed as soon as I beat in, like, as soon as I beat Jetsis. That's funny. Oh my god. So no post game for me. No sages or anything.